Welcome to my new series of ATEM mini tips. These tips should apply to your ATEM no matter which model you have. If you have any questions that you want answers or tips that you need help with, then feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to answer them in a future show. Today we're looking at how to automatically switch camera angles. We're using an ATEM mini today and I'm going to show you how to switch from camera one to two to three to four automatically using a macro. To create a macro, open the macros menu, go to the create tab, click on plus and give it a name. I'll just call this auto. The software will now record any and every action that we do inside the ATEM software, but it will not assume anything. What I mean by this is that if you want a state to be activated, you have to explicitly click it. And here's why I tell you this. Right now I'm already on camera one. And if I want my script to start on camera one, I have to actually tell it to start on camera one. So to do that, I could go to any other camera, camera two or three or anything else, and then go back to camera one. That initial click to camera two will be overwritten by the click to camera one, because I have just given it a command and then given it essentially a replacement command right after it. So now I've just told the software to switch to camera one. The next thing I wanna do is insert a pause. I do want the software to eventually switch to camera two, but I don't want it to do it right away. If I don't insert a pause, then it will execute these commands as quickly as it can. So to insert a pause, you go to the top of the window where it says add pause, click on that and then give it a duration in seconds and frames. While in a real use case, you'd wanna give it a longer duration than this, I'm just gonna give it a one second duration for this demo. I'll click on add pause and then go to camera two. I'll go back to add pause and add another one. Go to camera three, add pause, add one more, and then camera four. Now at this point, I could be done with the script. If this is all that I wanted was for it to go from one to two to three to four, I'm done. But what I can also do is tell this script to loop, to play back over and over again, constantly switching from cameras one to two to three to four and back to one again. However, if I don't add a pause at the end of the switch to camera four, then as soon as the script ends, it's gonna immediately jump back to the beginning and start over, which means that I will only be on camera four for a single frame. So now I wanna add that pause at the end of camera four as well. Add the pause, add that in, and we're done. I'll now stop recording. There's the auto button, click on the run tab, Enabling recall and run will mean I only have to click on the button, or if I disable that, then I can select the button and click play. I'll go ahead and click play now and watch the program switch, the cameras that are live over here. I click on play, and there it goes from one to two to three to four. If I want that to repeat until I stop it, then I'll click this button here. That'll cause it to repeat, so now when I click play, it'll run through the macro, and then repeat when it gets to the end. When you want the script to stop running, just click the stop button. And that's all it takes to automatically switch camera angles. If you want more tips like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions that you want answered, drop them in the comments below.